happens over and over, and police say it's a crime you can easily prevent. Car break-ins are among the fastest rising crimes in central Indiana, and as we've reported so many times over the last year, it doesn't matter where you live. RTV6's Chris Prophet is live in Fishers, a city that's seen a steady increase in thefts from vehicles. Chris. It's a common crime because it's so easy to commit. All you have to do is break this window, unlock this door, and suddenly you have access, in this case, to a laptop, a GPS unit, and you're on your way. Thousands of people watching the downtown Indianapolis St. Patrick's Day parade, and among them, victims of a common crime and potential victims who leave valuables in their cars. We were downtown and uh, somebody broke in and it was at kind of a, like an event like this. So um, they really didn't get anything because we don't leave anything in our car. It happened to Lindsay Shane. I came out to my car in the morning and one of my doors was propped open and all of the items in my car were just thrown all over the place. And to Hannah Hamblin. I came back and my window was like pushed down because I left it cracked because it was hot. And they like pushed it down even farther. So I had to get a new window motor, which was great. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, these types of crimes make up 36% of all larcenies reported to police and crimes that tend to be underreported. Break-ins that happen in every county. These suspects were caught in Johnson County recently after thousands of dollars worth of items and credit cards were stolen from a single subdivision. Fisher's police say it's their leading crime. 24 vehicle break-ins in January, 41 in February, and 11 so far this month. Police say that most happen at gyms, shopping centers, apartment complexes, and daycare centers. And in most cases, the vehicles were left unlocked. We have a campaign here in Fisher called Lock It, Hide It, Keep It. If you do those three things, then you will not be a victim of this crime. But you have to do those three things. A crime that nets huge amounts of money for criminals, with its victims, say police, making it too easy to commit. And if you think about all of these vehicle break-ins that happen every day just in central Indiana, think of the losses. Tens of thousands of dollars, and that's each day. Live in Fishers, Chris Profit, RTV6.